fragrance spreads because gas particles possess kinetic energy, in other words, moving energy. Hence, they are able to move about continuously, and the movement is random. So, air particles possess kinetic energy, also known as moving energy. Yes. And this energy allows them to move about randomly and continuously. That's right. That is how fragrance spreads. Yes. And this process is known as diffusion. Diffusion? What exactly is that? Diffusion is defined as the net movement of particles such as atoms, ions, or molecules from a region where they are of higher concentration to a region where they are of lower concentration. In other words, down a concentration gradient. Uh, I don't really understand. Okay, let's consider this. Imagine you are in the living room. Your sister accidentally spilled a bottle of perfume in her bedroom. Individual particles of perfume evaporate from the surface of the spill and become gas. The particles of gas are constantly moving. They bump into one another and bounce about. This causes the gas to spread outwards throughout the house until it reaches your nose and you smell it. The gas spreads outwards and this process is known as diffusion. Teacher, I understand about this. What I don't understand is the part where you talked about the concentration and the concentration gradient. What exactly are the meaning of these terms? To answer your query, let's continue with our perfume analogy. Okay. Let's label the opening of the perfume bottle as point A and label your nose as point B, some distance away from the perfume. The fragrant gas particles from the bottle are more concentrated at point A than at point B. In other words, there are more fragrant particles at A than at B. We say that there is a difference in concentration between these two points. Thus, point A is a region of higher concentration and point B is a region of lower concentration. The difference in concentration between the two regions is called the concentration gradient. When particles move from point A to point B, it is called moving down a concentration gradient. So, a higher concentration region means the region with more particles. Yes. And a lower concentration region means the region with less particles. That's right. And particles will move from a more crowded area to a less crowded area. Am I right? <laughs> yes, that is absolutely right.